Hello fans and welcome to another video from the team here at BlenderTech.com. That's BlenderTech.com. Again, in 1080p, full beautiful high def quality. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe for more Blender, Unity 3D, and programming videos. The team here tries to add at least one quality video a day, if not more. And lastly, don't forget to remember, create your way. So today we're going to be talking about groups and different kinds of groups and what they can be used for. It's going to be a two, maybe three part series. I'm going to start off describing different kinds of groups and what they can do. And then we're going to take it to a second part and we're going to apply these groups to say the particle system or whatever. So I'm going to show you some kinds of groups, how they're used, how they're made, and then we're going to go into what they can be used for. So, uh, I hope you can follow along. I'm not going to forget to turn on screencast keys this time. I'm going to set that up and uh, we'll get started here in just a moment. You can actually see how much less screen real estate I had before because this used to be basically my screen size because this used to be right here in the corner you can see how much extra screen real estate I have now alright so I've got screencast keys set up I've got it set as my startup file so that I have my settings set up for next time and let's get started so what are groups well let me show you something first that you may have seen before if we create something just you know a basic mesh cube for example and then you go into modify or you know what even oh yeah groups so you'd see, you would see under just the regular if we were to create an object like a cube under the what is even called the the object data tab that's in here you would see groups add to group and you could add an object to a new group and you can choose a group a group can be displayed in a certain place etc so that's an example of a group but that's not what we're gonna focus on what we're gonna focus on is something a little bit different where would you find it? Oh yes, right here. Why am I not thinking straight today? Like I said, I haven't used Blender in days now because I've been setting up computers. Under object data, this little triangle that basically, that's actually a symbol for group, for vertex groups. So you have vertex group shape keys, UV map, and vertex colors. These are all group options. So you can make a vertex group called top verti. And then you can go into edit mode you can take your vertex selection tool, you can select just the top vertex, and then you can now assign that. So now we have assigned these top vertices, these top four vertices to top vertex, and you can create as many groups as you want. Now this is just vertex groups, this is just a starting. So then you could go, say, bottom vertex. So now this is a completely different group. So you would take, say, the bottom vertex, and you would assign it to there. Now you can select those, you can select these, and so on and so forth. See how I can select and deselect that now? So I've now created vertex groups. So this can come in useful in certain situations. I'm not going to get too in-depth. I'm just showing you an example of what a group is. So this is a vertex group, for example. I will focus on that in maybe another tutorial, maybe in part two or three, but we're going to forget about that for now. What we're going to be working on today is object groups because when you go to create a particle system like this if you go down oh god I haven't used use this in days where is it vertex groups so you can choose see right already you can choose vertex groups in here um oh where are they okay well I'll get to that later whatever anyways um so we're going to be focusing on the particle system and shape groups. So let's create some basic shapes to be used as our particle system. So what we're going to, because this is going to be a two-part series, I'm going to be using these over. So we're going to create a cube, and then right beside it, we're going to create a mesh circle or a sphere. Um, let's do a sphere just for fun. So yeah, we'll create a sphere beside it. And then beside that, we're going to create a mesh, what else is interesting, maybe a cylinder. And we're going to create a mesh cone. And then I'm just going to create a simple triangle. So I'm going to create a plane, rotate along the Z, no, not the Z, rotate along the X, yeah, X, 90 degrees. And I'm just going to go into edit mode, and I'm going to merge these two vertices. 
Alright, and then I guess since it's not just a plane, we're going to extrude it back a little bit. Alright, so, as you can see, very obviously, we have a triangle. I think the normals are backwards on that. There we go, okay. Now our normals are okay. Alright, so, as you can obviously see, we have a triangle, a UV sphere, a cube, a cylinder, and a cone. So what we have here, five different objects, five different shapes. So what this is going to illustrate is how work groups work, and I use the different shapes just so you can see the differences and what the different settings in the particle system, once we get to that and such, do. Alright, so we just have a basic five shapes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all these, we're going to select them all, and this is just a good habit to get into. You don't have to do this, but I highly suggest it. We're going to move these to the last layer because we don't want them to be rendered. If we did, we would have our particle system great, or whatever else we're using our group for. It would be in the render here, but you're also going to have your group rendered. And you may want that, but most of the time you don't want that. So I'm just going to move it to the last layer because I don't want these rendered in my render layer. I want them rendered from something else. Okay, so now they're all in my last layer. So how do I make them a group? That's simple. There's a hotkey. The hotkeys, though, I try to not use them as much as I should to keep things simple. What you can do is under the T menu. Now, I don't use this, so I don't know where it is. Yeah, right here. Under Relationships, you can just create New Group. And you can see the shortcut is Control-J to add to a group. You can see they turn green. And you can see down here, create no group is my last action. So when they're when they're green, when you select them all like that, that means they're a group. Okay, so I'm going to undo that. So if you have them, okay, uh, undo, okay, undo, undo, undo. Okay, so we have them all selected. So what you can do is under the relationships panel in the T toolbar, you can just hit new group and it'll instantly create a new group. And you can name it right here. We're going to call this shapes. So that's our new group called shapes. So... We can close that off, so you can now see that, again, under the uh, the object data, this little box right here, you can see it's under the shapes group. And if I select any of these, so I've got the cube, it's under shapes. The sphere, it's under shapes. The triangle, it's under shapes. Or I could change this, I can make a whole new group, and I could, I can make a new group called just triangle. And now that one's under triangle. Or now this whole group is called triangle, sorry. Let's recall it shapes. And then let's create a new group called shape or er, triangle. So now this is under shapes. Now this one is under shapes and triangle. So you can use multiple groups on the same object, but we only want this one to be on triangles, for example, so we would just get rid of shapes. So now all these objects are under shapes, as you can see. But the triangle is under its own group called triangles. But we're not going to get that advanced right now. We're just going to keep it under. As you can see, if I just click Add to Group, it lets me choose on. I've got my stock group that I created kind of by accident. I've got my shapes group and my triangles group. But we're just going to leave everything on shapes for now. So you may have seen this before in modifiers. Let me see if I can find a modifier that lets you use groups. I think most of them use vertex groups. Sorry guys, the uh, washroom was calling. I didn't know if I should continue the tutorial or pause it, so I ended up pausing it. So um, I took a look. I'm actually going to eat my words. There are no modifiers I can think of really fast that use um, object groups. But why I wanted to relate this is because you may have seen in most in most modifiers, um, for sure I knew this one. Okay, so you see here this little group, that's a vertex group. So that's an example of where you can use a vertex. You may have seen the symbol before, so it's in decimate. I know it's in a, not mirror, it was in multi-resolution, no, why can't I remember this stuff? Mask, yeah, see, vertex group. So you may have seen that symbol before and thought like, what is that? I showed you what vertex groups are before, so now you know what they are how they can be used in different modifiers for examples but we're not going to be using that in this little intro tutorial basically I just wanted to show you how to create a group and that's basically about it in the next part we're going to be getting into creating a particle system using our group so yeah that's how you create a group so yeah just to recap I'm gonna delete everything we're going to go back to the first layer. So how you create a group is you just create more than one object. So I'm going to create two cubes. 
you select them both and then you hit control G and that creates a new group and then you can go into the object panel data here the little cube you can change the group name or you can add it to a predefined group through there so if I hadn't done that I can just go there and hit add to group and I can add it to the shapes group that we've already had and then after you've created a group um, if you don't want them in your under layer just move them to a separate layer and then also to recap vertex groups so undo all that we'll just take our basic cube vertex groups in edit mode you can select a group of vertexes hence vertex group and then under the vertex group icon which is actually the object data um, you can create a new vertex group called whatever like I said before I called this top verti whoops spelled it wrong then hit assign and then you can choose the bottom and you can create a new one called bottom and hit assign so as whoa, what did I do now? So as you saw before, you can now select, deselect, select, deselect just the bottom or just the top. Select, deselect, and if you go into if you created a modifier, let's say we were gonna use uh, what would be a good modifier to show this? Um, something like let's try the decimate. I don't use that very often. If we chose the bottom, okay, it does absolutely nothing. Okay, well I can't find a modifier that that uses this, but you can play around with it. Now you get an idea of how to create vertex and object groups. And in the next uh, volume, I'm going to show you how to use them in things such as the particle system. So we will see you there. Thanks for watching from the team here at BlenderTech.com. Again, that's BlenderTEK.com. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe for more Blender, Unity 3D, and coding videos. We now offer hard copies of our videos, so if you'd like a copy to download onto your computer to watch later, let us know and we'll upload it to our server for you to watch later in the media player of your choice. If you dislike this video for some reason, don't just leave. Instead, leave a comment or email the team at info at blendertech.com about what you did or did not like. We also take requests for tutorials, so let us know if there's something you've been wanting or if there's more content you'd like to see. We are working on the Aurora tutorial as I specified last time for the guy that requested it. I have some ideas and they're starting to work out better and better. So anyways, see you next time and remember, create your way.